Welcome to a new video on Dr. Mickey. Today we need to learn how to inoculate the bacterial culture. Actually, we have different techniques for bacterial cultures. We have a step technique, we have a spray technique, so we have pour plate technique and also streaking plate agar techniques. Actually, each technique depends on the what is the purpose and what is your target for the inoculation. Sometimes you want to get the pure culture. Sometimes you want to do the or perform the uh, biochemical test. Sometimes also you need to get the bacterial count in CFU, colony forming units. In such case, you need to prepare or the serial dilution. So how to inoculate the bacterial cultures will be explained shortly.
Hello everyone, my name is Uncle En. So now, I would like to ask you a question. Why we need to do step culture? The answer of this question is, step culture specifically require the inoculation needle and used to study the cell motility and to study the microbial oxygen requirements. That's all for me, thank you. Hi, my name is Lau. So I will ask about what is the split head technique. The answer is split head technique is a method to plant a liquid sample for the purpose of isolating or coating the bacteria present in the sample. There is also another reason why we need that because it is to give receiver and isolated colonies distribute on the plate and okay. are countable. Thank you. Alright, so good day everyone. So today I will talk about what is the real purpose of our poor plate technique. So the first thing of our purpose is that we need to use this poor plate technique to determine the number of microbes per ml in a certain specimens. So other than that, we also can use this as an advantage of not requiring previously prepared plates and maybe we can also use for assay the bacterial contamination of foodstuffs. Thank you. Good day everyone, my name is Chow. So today my question is, what is the strip plate method? Basically the strip plate method is to spread the microbes on the plated agar media so that the individual cells can become isolated and grow into the pure colonies and also to dilute the bacteria on the surface of the agar media as well. Thank you. Hello and good day for all of you. My name is Dr. Manaf. Today I'm going just to explain you why we are going to use serial dilution technique for bacterial sample. Actually first you are going to use this technique for getting diluted bacterial sample that we have. Secondly for being able to count the bacterial colonies and thirdly to count only the visible cells shortly we are going to use uh, this technique for decreasing the, con the bacterial concentration to a required concentration that we are going to use for a specific test or a concentration which would be easier to uh, count when we plate uh, this bacteria uh, on agar plates thank you Okay, this is the end of our video, so thank you for watching, thank you to my group research members and please don't forget to share, share like, like and subscribe. subscribe and activate the bell to reach our new videos. Thank you, good luck and bye bye! bye.